Welcome back. In this session, we're going to be starting our first operation, which is going to be our facing. Now, to get started on that, there's three ways to pick facing. Now, the first way, if you're not familiar with uh, MasterCam, there's Toolpath, and then there's you can go down here to Face. Now, we have the icons already loaded from our previous uh, chapter, the introduction chapter, uh, when we uh, went to Toolpath, when we went to Settings, and we went to Toolbar States, and we loaded the Lathe Tools over here on the left side. So, if you come over here to this icon right here, on the left side it says Create Lathe Face Toolpath. So that's our second way we can actually choose to create that our third way if you right click over here in the operations manager come over here to the top to toolpath uh, lathe toolpath and then come over here to face so just click on that it's going to ask you to name your new your nc name just leave it as my current name and i'm going to click ok so there we go at first it's going to pop up the lathe uh, face toolbar this is the dialog box for it we're going to choose, now we're going to keep this the same as the OD rough. It shows you the whole tool if you actually go over it. That's a nice thing uh, if you want to zoom in a little bit. It's going to be your OD rough right 80 degree tool. So we're going to use that for the facing. There's many tools that we'll be using uh, later in our tutorial. If you come over here to the right side, you're going to see tool number one, offset number one, and station number one. And the reason they're all at number one is because we already chose to name our tools tool number and everything sequentially so it shows one for our first tool now there's your feed rate it's actually measured in inches per revolutions or inches per minute and uh, there's your spindle speed right here it's by CSS or by RPM and then there, there's your max sp spindle speed now I'm gonna keep those the same you can also choose your coolant over here if you left click on coolant your dialog box appears for the coolant you can actually turn it on by left clicking on it and turning it on if you like now I'm going to keep the coolant off and click on the OK button. Uh, feed rate and spindle speed, of course, they have to do a lot with whatever type tool you're having and the material that you're having. So depending on the material, if you're using, uh, for example, aluminum instead of steel, you can raise up your feed rate and your tool speed. If you're using some hard steel, you're going to actually slow it down. You don't want to wear your tool out. So uh, this is calculated by the manufacturer engineer and uh, by you basically depending on your tool and your um, material if you come over here to home position we're gonna keep it at uh, D and Z axis from over here you can use from machine or from tool machine is gonna be your machine type whatever machine you're using for this one we chose default so it's gonna be we're gonna keep everything as machine if you have a certain machine that you're using on the floor that's what you'll have selected so you'll it will know to use from the machine. You can use from tool, so whatever tool you have selected, it can use uh, your tool properties home position, or you can use your define, which is overrides everything. Now, as we're done with this, we're going to co come up here to the face parameters tab and left click on it. And there you go. You can we want to have select. You can have selected actually use selected points. You can actually select the point yourself from here, as we have selected earlier to select our stock. But for this one, we're gonna use, we're gonna keep it as used stock. Now we're gonna go entry amount. We're gonna keep the entry amount as a hundred thou. Let's enable rough step over because we're gonna rough, and let's rough it about a um, hundred thou. Now we can rough it a hundred thou, but since our only the stock uh, that we're taking out is gonna be um, not, it's gonna be a hundred thou. In full, so if you rough 100,000, you're not going to leave any stock to be able to machine. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use half of that. So, I'm going to use 0 0.05, so it's going to use 50,000, and I'm going to enable finish step over as well. I'm going to leave it as 0.1, and uh, what, what that does basically is uh, do a rough pass and then it'll do a last finish pass. But for the rough pass, for the finish step over, I'm going to do a finish step over at 0 0.05 as well. This will add up to be, or usually what you want to do is if you want your finish step to be 0 0.01. So let's do this as 0 0.01 instead of 0 0.05. This will give you 10,000 step over to do a finish, you know, last step over finish to finish off your part. Overcut amount, this is, this becomes from your center basically how much you want it to overcut into into from the center into your other side basically. 
uh, we're going to keep that at zero. We're going to basically keep it going all the way to the center. Retract them out. This was basically your tool. When it retracts, you can tell it how much you want it to retract before it goes back to home position. You can do a rapid retract, which basically uses what, however fast your tool machine can retract that tool. It uses that maximum retract bond. Then there's stock to leave. You don't want it to leave any stock. You want it to leave, take out all your 0.1 inches. So we're going to leave uh, stock to leave at zero. And then we're going to go to cut away from center line. We're going to leave this unchecked. We don't want to cut away from the center line. So this will basically allow you to start in the middle and cut away from it. Now we don't want to do that. We want to start out in the end and come all the way to the center. Tool compensation, we're going to keep it as computer. Compensation direction, we're going to keep the tool on the left side of the part. So we're going to keep that. Um, left lead in and out we're not going to be using them in this uh, session and I'll explain them in another session so let's go over here we're going to leave this maximum number of finished passes to be one so the last pass will be our finished pass so we're going to keep that at one and come over here and click on the OK button and as you can see it shows our stock being machined now all I have to do now is come over here to uh, regenerate all dirty points all selected operations it says no operations are selected, and that's because we don't have this operation selected. To select it, all you have to do is come over here to this little folder. Just left click on it, and you'll see a green arrow appear. When you have that selected, click on the Regen. And what you want to do is click on the Verify Selected Operations. And you're going to see this menu appear. Now, what I can do is put it on isometric view, and I will see my part a little bit better. And then I'm going to move my dialog box and click on fit to screen so I can see it better. I'm going to move my part away a little bit. So you can see now your chug jaw and your uh, part selected over here. So now let's go ahead and uh, play it out and see how our parts machine. Now your first three options are going to be turbo, which means it will machine it really fast. So you can barely see it. So a simultaneous tool, which means only the tool or the tool and the holder. So let's use tool and the holder. Moves per step, we want to leave it at 1, display control. And then moves per refresh, 1, so every step will refresh so you can see it all. The speed, you can choose either if you want speed or quality. So let's leave it in the middle. Now let's over here come over here and click on stop on collision so we can see if there's any collision, it will stop right away. Come over here to verbal and let's keep over the uh, stop on tool chart, change and stop after each operation. Off. You don't want it to keep ch stopping after every operation, so let's keep those unchecked. Now for the verbose, come over here and click on the options menu. And this is your options menu, and I will teach this, the, every option that I use in every different chapter, I will teach you how to use that. For right now, we're going to keep this shape in cylinder. This allows you how to select the different toolpath from, from the boundaries. Initial stock size, we're going to leave stock set up. How, however we set up our stock, this is how we're going to set up our options. Um, cylinder axis, we're going to keep it at Z. Cylinder diameter is going to be 2.2 inches. Center on axis, we're going to keep this check. And the only thing we're going to be changing here is change tool color. So every operation is going to give you a different tool and different stock color. So just come over here and click on the check mark. And let's click on the play button and basically machine button and show us our operation. Now this was a little bit too fast, so let's go ahead and slow it down over here. This is your machine slowly or machine fast button, so I'm going to move it a little slow. Click on the back button over here, and then click on play again. And it shows you how it machined on one, two, and that was the last one was your finish pass. So there we go. This was your facing operation. Click on the check mark, and as you can see, it created this uh, operation, which is your facing operation. Right here, it shows you what kind of OD rough mill 80 degree, what kind of tool you've used. Your geometry, now we didn't name it anything, so it's not going to name your parameters over here. Your toolpath. Now I want to do one more thing before I close it. I'm going to go to parameters real quick. And I'm going to go back to toolpath parameters. And under here, there's a comment button. Now you can actually name it something. So let's say facing operations. And click on the OK button. And this will name your operation. So this now will be part of your program. Uh, in case anybody else came and opened up your program, they will know in the NC code where your um, what that operation is. So they know what you're trying to do in that operation and they won't be as confused. Now one thing to notice, I'm going to set it back up to the top. 
your stock actually has moved a little bit from the center. So if I actually zoom in, my origin is actually right here, and my stock has moved a little bit to the left. It moved 0.1 inches to the left of it because we machined 0.1 inches into the part. So I'm going to go to fit the screen, and your stock boundary will be changing according to while you're machining. So this, this stock will go down when you machine the top of it, and will go left when you're machining into the part over here. So there we go. That concludes our session into facing, uh, learning how to face the stock.